What's going on gamers RC Styles here welcoming you to Time Warp and as you were tuned in last night watching Insomniac we did day number one of Randall's Monday well due to lack of creativity no I'm just kidding because I'm all kinds of late and shit here's day number two of Randall's Monday Whoa, Matt's on the front page. Nice picture, by the way. Damn, Marconi. Hope this banging on my door thing doesn't become a habit, like asking me for the rent every month. Pitch! I can hear you in there! Open up right now or I'll break down the door! Hey, Mr. Marconi, look, I I'm really sorry about yesterday, you know. Why? What the hell did you do yesterday? Well, you know, I left you waiting here in the hallway and then I went to, you know... Hicks! If I had to see you on Sundays, too, my life just wouldn't be worth living. Wait, what? Are you telling me today's Monday? Knock it off, jerk! You won't get me with the amnesia trick this time. Mr. Marconi, I think you're getting delirious. What are you talking about? Listen, you don't seem to remember that yesterday was Monday. You came by, we exchanged pleasantries and shared our hopes and dreams. Then I left you standing in the hallway for hours and I snuck through the fire escape. Hicks! No, please, let me finish. The fire escape collapsed and nearly killed me. I probably got who knows what from a bum and last but not least, I saw my best friend's body all gratin inside his own oven. So yeah, it was a pretty memorable Monday. Listen! And you! You're so full of spite you've come back here at the same time to torture me again? Are you planning on pummeling my door every day? Because if you are, I might be forced to put an end to it. I've got boatloads of cash and that should buy me some pretty unsavory friends who'll be happy to put an end to your little visits. Look son, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm worried about it. Last night you came back drunk again. I didn't say anything because I refused to work on Sundays. But now, I really think we should have a little talk. I'm all ears. Okay, first, I'm fed up with your stupid jokes, Hicks. You know that fire escape has been broken for a long time, and honestly, I don't care if you had something to do with it. Broken for a long time? Are you sure? Second, I'm so sorry about your friend. I heard on the news that they found his body this morning. This morning? And third, what do you mean you got boatloads of cash? Uh... Forget what I said, I, I, I'm still kind of drowsy here. So, just to make sure, what day is it today? Really, Hicks? Again? Affirmative. Today is Monday. It comes right after Sunday. You know that, man. Are you sure you're not just confused? I, I swear today is Tuesday. I'm sure. You can check the date in today's paper. Didn't you read it? <laughs> Who checks the date on the paper? I don't know. Maybe the people who don't know what day it is. Hmm. Touche. Then today? Today, you owe me three months. And I want my money now. You sure you're not just fooling around? Do I look like I'm kidding? I don't know, Mr. Marconi. You always had that animal look about you. But today I'd say there's something different. Did you get a 
ten, or is that a new haircut? I mean, enough already. Give me my money now, or I promise you, you won't be getting out of this apartment alive. Ah, I've heard it all before. It's getting old. This time I'm serious, Randall. I will not allow some mentally deficient moron to just laugh in my face. Mentally deficient? Wow, that's the first time anyone's called me stupid with such fancy words. I'm warning you, I might get a little emotional here. See, that's what I'm talking about, Hicks. You never take anything serious. I'm talking about kicking you out into the street, and you behave like you just don't care. You're gonna find yourself behind bars if you don't watch that attitude. Ooh, that would be great. I love the circus. My money? Now. Okay, here's your stinking money. For real? You, you mean this is actual real money? No, it's fantasy world money. If you stop believing it, it'll disappear. Okay, okay, <clears throat> it's just that, uh, yeah, I wasn't really expecting to get paid. Especially not three months just like that. These aren't photocopied, right? Because you know it wouldn't be the first time. Ah, uh, have a little faith in me, Mr. Marconi. If I want to, I can get anything I need. And I don't have to scam any old ladies this time. God only knows what you did to get so much money, but I'm certainly gonna keep it. Yeah, yeah, good for you. So would you mind leaving me alone now? I know you're a little over the hill and I understand you're so confused you don't even know what day it is. But me, on the other hand, I've got things to do, so just run along. Do what you want, Hicks. But remember, I won't tolerate any more holdups with the rent. I'm warning you. And I'm ignoring you, but whatever. We'll see what happens next month. Don't push your luck. Hello? Are you Mr. Randall Hicks? <laughs> yep, speaking. Well, this is Sergeant Joseph Kramer from the police department. You need to come to Mr. Matthew Griffin's apartment ASAP. Why? You want to insult me in person? If you're not here in an hour, an arrest warrant will be issued. What else do you want from me? I already told you all I know. What the hell are you talking about? What do you know about this? Look, I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but you better come here right now or you'll be spending the night in the cells where you'll come to be known as Susan. It's your choice. Uh, the Susan thing again? I thought this time it would be Bridget or Evelyn or whomever else. I'll be waiting. I hope I don't have to come looking for you. Don't worry, Sergeant. I'm on my way. That, that that was fucking priceless, man. <laughs> Well, well, well. If it isn't the business bum. How do you like my office? My decorator said it should have a more urban, casual look. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Very tasteful, but... You better start explaining everything about that curse you say is on me. What the hell is that all about? 
We all struggle to define ourselves, to live our lives with some sense of balance, with one foot in the past and the other reaching for an uncertain future. No. Oh. I am starting to get really tired of all these lame TV show life <laughs> lessons. Why can't you just say something coherent for once? I mean, I know you're a bum and all, and sometimes you just need to yell stuff at people, but I'm sure you know more than you're letting on. I know a lot of things. Our yesterdays are like a string of pearls, unbroken, unchanging. But if we could change our past, would that also change who we are? Do you know what you should do? You should just, um, I don't know, switch channels. All those sci-fi shows are seriously messing up your brain. Even more, uh, I mean... Oh, yeah? Look who's talking. The guy that can't even perceive the dangerous time-space alterations that are happening around him. Look, pal, I don't care about your curse. But be careful with what you touch out there, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. See? Now you're talking again about curses and space-time continuums. Maybe you just need more fiber in your diet. We have always been fascinated with the prospect of renewal. Built into the very fabric of our self-conscious is the desire for resurrection. A rebirth of body and soul. A second chance. Ah, uh, are you done with your cheap philosophy? Okay. Why are you the only one who understands what's happening to me? Because I've been there, boy. Listen, everything you touch gets marked, cursed like you are, doomed to repeat itself and yet to remain unchanged in this world and in any other world. Right here and right now, everything you touch keeps rewriting the past so the present we know doesn't get torn apart. A present that's the same, and yet different at the same time. My god, I didn't get any of that. All in good time, my friend. If you need more clues, just go back to the place where it all began. Clayton's? You're the only one who knows. Okay, I'll stop by as soon as I can. As my landlord would say, do you know what day it is? No. I mean, is it Monday, Tuesday? I said I don't know. It's just that I have this feeling I'm reliving the same day all over again. I know the feeling, buddy. Really? You do? Of course. Look at me. Always surrounded by boxes. Going from one alley to another, waiting for some African prince to stop by and give me an envelope. <sighs> I don't know why I keep talking to you. Because I have all the answers you're looking for. But do you have the right questions? Do I have the right questions? You do, only you don't know it yet. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I was just trying to sound smart. Well, mission failed, pal. Am I dead? No. People would find that really disappointing. What people? Never mind. Am I trapped in time? That's not the question. The question is, where are you right now? Okay, where am I? You're here, in the alley, can't you tell? I fell for that one. <laughs> On another note... Do you know anything about hangovers so brutal they can alter the space-time continuum? Well... Have you ever heard of counterwise wine? It's pretty strong. You get drunk hours before actually drinking it. You could have, like, the worst hangover ever without even knowing what's going on. You just made that up, didn't you? No, I didn't. I read it in a book. Oh, sure. Because everybody knows Mr. Pratchett's work is based solely on real events. 
Hey, don't mess with me. I'm talking about wine. Oh, I just remembered I need to do anything else. Bye. I don't think he has anything left to say, thank God. The only thing I got is that I might find some answers in the bar. All right, so there is back to match. Hey, what's up, Sally? How you doing today? Shut your hole! Shut your stinking hole! Hey, what did I do? Oh, yeah. You never do anything, Randall Hicks. God, I'm sick of you. Get out of here. What's gotten into you? You normally don't start yelling till I break something. This can't be happening to me. What am I going to do now? We already paid for the wedding. I can't believe it. What am I going to do? What the hell am I going to do now? Relax. Everything's going to be all right. What? Are you kidding me? Well, that's what people say in this kind of situation, right? Get out. Seriously, just leave me alone. There's a cop waiting for you in the kitchen and he doesn't look happy. Oh, okay. Here's a tip. Learn to control that raging anger, okay? I'll see you around. Raging anger? Raging anger? Yes. Maybe that's what this is. Back in the truck. Holy fuck, man! I wasn't expecting that! And what were you expecting? Freshly baked apple pie? Ha! <laughs> Good one, Ned. Well, maybe not apple pies, but I was expecting something baked. Are you Mr. Randall Hicks? I like it better when you call me Susan. Don't go getting cocky on me, boy. One false move and it'll be straight behind bars for you. And believe me, Susan will be the nicest thing they'll call you in there. He was my best friend. I'd never do anything to hurt him. So, you were best friends, huh? Yes. Well, something tells me you were <laughs> such a good best friend. And something tells me you shouldn't be smoking when you're on duty. The boy is right, sir. If I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Hey, if I googled alpha male, do you think I'd get your picture, Sergeant? Oh, look, we got ourselves a funny guy here. You think this is funny? Huh, funny guy? I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, on one hand, I'm sorry about Matt, again. But on the other hand, you know, seeing his torso right there on the floor covered in blood, I mean, that, that, that's just a whole new feeling. I don't know how to categorize it, but I'd say, I mean, it's kind of fun. Yeah, definitely. Excuse me! You're sorry about Matt again? What do you mean by that? Oh, uh, nothing. It's it's just that he got lost once in the uh, amusement park and he got really scared, but it was uh, nothing some monster-sized cotton candy couldn't fix. Okay, let's get to the point already. How did you know that the body belongs to Matthew Griffin?
his clothes are unmistakable. I mean, if it was Christmas and he had dressed up as the Easter Bunny, I'd still recognize Matt. And what the hell does the Easter Bunny have to do with Christmas? Actually, he dresses up as the Happy Homicidal Bunny, but we tell people it's the Easter Bunny to avoid misunderstandings. That, that is really stupid. Well, excuse us for trying to enjoy Christmas our way. That's enough. My patience has limits. You better tell me everything you know about this, or else I'll break your nose with my fist, and then I'll say you tried to attack me first. Got it? I'm one of those cops. I think I just had a flashback. Are you sure there isn't anything else you'd like to say? As sure as today is Monday. Because it is Monday, right? Right. How did you know, Mr. Griffin? Oh, I was going to be his best man. Now I won't be able to make that speech that I had prepared. I was going to go really hard for his mother. She's huge, you know? I had some great stuff. Mm, I'm sure Matt would have loved it. So, Mr. Griffin was getting married. Interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say interesting. I always thought he had better odds of becoming a member of the Fantastic Four than getting married, but, you know, I was wrong. Well, not really. There's no way he can marry anyone now. Well, I guess you're right. What's that? I hope the other side is ruled by machines. He would love that. So, you had problems with Mr. Griffin's fiance. Maybe you didn't want the wedding to go ahead. Problems with Sally? Th that's crazy. They were a perfect couple. I, they Aww, complimented oh, baby. each other, you, you got know? In your she bed. was the voice of reason, like and Matt, well... I don't know, he was just Matt. He, he wouldn't have made it through college if it wasn't for her. Not to mention, she's gotten us out of some nasty scrapes and saved us from beatings like a hey, thousand man, I told times. You, the that pens, was the one who got the us out of that Turkish jail for Pete's sake. So that's it. What is? Your best friend's girlfriend. You scum. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Sergeant, but Sally is just a friend, nothing more. Got it? Oh, I got it all right. Is that all? Yes, that's all. I want to go now. Not so fast. I want to know exactly where you were and what you were doing when our friend here decided to redecorate the walls with his guts. Well, uh, I mean, it's, it's a little complicated. Well, it, it's funny, actually. Oh, really? So, tell me. I love funny stories. You see, I did a lot of stuff yesterday. It was a crazy day, you know, but then I woke up and none of it had happened. I, I mean, it, it did happen, but not yesterday. It happened today, but... It wasn't the same today. You understand? Mm, no, I don't. And that wasn't funny. So I'll just ask again. What did you do last night? My landlord said I came home drunk last night. And your landlord is? Mr. Marconi, 15 Threepwood Street. And you know where you're off to if he doesn't confirm your alibi, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My ass is going straight to jail. You learn fast, but I know there's more. It's written all over your face. Uh, no. It's just my what a bore face. And if we're done here, I'd like to leave now. I have a lot of stuff to do, you know? Not so fast, Allison. This isn't over yet. <laughs> oh, so now it's Allison. Really? You don't like it? Then sue me. Oh, come on. Let me read that stupid note and let's get this over with. Go ahead. You can read it. But I warn you, you don't come off very well. Oh, and get your ass back here when you're done. Oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The unknown future rolls toward us. I face it for the first time with a sense of hope because if a machine, a terminator, can learn the value of human life, maybe we can too. I want to thank Randall for each and every one of the selfish deeds he's ever done. Thanks to you, I have finally opened my eyes. Now, you have taken away the most beautiful thing I ever had. Thus, I don't fear death. Anymore. I want to thank you as well, Mother. Thank you for renewing my kitchen. All the appliances are of the highest quality. But what I regret the most is leaving you, Sally. 
You're the best thing that ever happened to me in this carousel we call life. I'm sorry for doing this to you, but now you must go on. Run away from this madness and don't ever look back. Don't let Randall drag you over to the dark side. That's all that matters. Don't fall into his trap. Just one more thing. Watching John with the machine, it was suddenly so clear. The Terminator would never stop. It would never leave him. It would never hurt him. Never shout at him or get drunk and hit him or say it was too busy to spend time with him. It would always be there and it would die to protect him. Of all the would-be fathers who came and went, over the years, this thing, this machine, was the only one who measured up. In an insane world, it was the sanest choice. Sincerely, WW. Wow, I don't know what to say. The suicides aside, pure poetry. I still have the image in my head, both of them playing around while the mother stands back watching them, knife in her hand. Meh. There's a tear in my eye. Please, can I go now? I gave you my number already, so if you need me again, just call me. Hey, hey, what's the rush? You have to understand, I have people to push into suicide, evidence to destroy, I'm really busy. You're not taking this seriously, kid. You're gonna be sorry. Did you just call me kid? My god, I'm welling up. No, nope. wait a second. Yeah, that was just guess. Get out of here, kid. But don't leave town. We might need you again. I'll be staring at my phone just like a lovesick high school girl. You like that, don't you? Out! Now! We need to invest in a voice mod for you, Jordan. We need to invest in a voice mod for you, Dread. So that way you can do that shit. That way you can do that shit and like it actually sound a little bit more like it. Instead of you, instead of it sounding like you all groggy and shit. Not even quack. Just what the hell is going on here? Is this some kind of a joke? Because I I, I really don't get it. Oh, okay. appreciate your views, sir. Facts. I'm reliving the same day all over. I was never a good student, but I don't think that's a normal I didn't thing say rude, I said rude. Your cunning attempt to make me sound also, like I'm not funny. I'm the only one that seems to realize it, <laughs> except for that bum, so have I lost my mind? Mom always said that spending so many hours playing that game with the Italian plumber would only wreck my brain, but I never thought it would come to this. But yet, some things I did yesterday remain unaltered. I still have the money I made by selling the ring, and the fire escape is still broken. Yeah, that, that's this okay, really that's weird. okay. I, uh, that fucked up the, the joke game. anyway, so we're good. I think I gotta get it back, and <laughs> quick. Hey, don't look at me like that, we'll figure it out. We oui, win, oui, Monsieur Poopy Pants.
Oi, fucker! No. Only on rainy Tuesdays. Morning. Were you looking for something in particular? Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm looking for a ring that I brought here, I think. You think? Uh, well, it's complicated. Do you remember seeing me in here yesterday? Well, no. Yesterday we were closed. It was Sunday, remember? Sure. <clears throat> How much for one of those cans of mercury cola? Five grand. Five grand? Wait a second. Are those real? As a proud consumer, I have to say that yes, they are. Weren't they banned from stores after that scandal in the year 2000? Yes, they were. And wasn't that because scientists discovered that it contained large amounts of mercury? Not so large. If I remember properly, it was 37%. 34%. And who cares anyway? No other soft drink takes away your thirst like this one. I tried one back in 98, and the only thing it took away was my consciousness. How did you manage to keep so many cans anyway? I don't normally reveal my sources, but I like you, kid. And you seem pretty interested in the myths surrounding the best soft drink ever made. Oh, was I making my I'm interested face? <laughs> I really need to work on my facial expressions. Yeah, whatever. A few years ago, me and my best friend robbed this truck that was just full of them. I stood in the middle of the road, and when the truck stopped, my buddy Jim knocked the driver out. Good old Jimmy. Then he betrayed me. He said that he had done all the dirty work and wanted a 60% cut. So it's the happened? ghost. They don't appreciate Actually, your candor. Actually, I don't quite remember what happened. <laughs> Everything is kind of blurry. But I ended up here, all covered in sand and with the whole ship. They're a bunch of pussies. I haven't seen Jim since. But enough about that. You interested or what? Yeah, I'm really interested. Maybe tomorrow I'll have a mercurized day. You even know the catchphrase. Good for you. Satan, is that you? May I take a look at the rings you have on sale? No, you may not. Why not? I thought the customer was always right. The guy who said that must have been such a loser. You really don't remember me? I thought we were friends. Friends? Hey, you're that delivery guy from Emerson Express, right? What the hell are you on? You look even dumber than usual. You know, you weren't that rude yesterday. Kid, I told you, the store was closed yesterday. You want a tip? Stop sniffing glue. It's not good for you. Please, I need that ring desperately. And this concerns me how? Because I need to get it back. Oh, by the way, did I mention I have a lot of cash in my pocket? And I mean a lot. Why didn't you say so before? What did you have in mind? Well, it's, um, it's kind of a golden ring. Kind of simple. No inscriptions, no diamonds or anything. However, it radiates a mysterious aura that makes it unique and tempting. Does that sound familiar? Boy, I've only seen a ring like that once. But I didn't get it from you. I got it from a guy that turned out to be two midgets in disguise. Um, is it here? What, the midgets? No, not the midgets. The ring. Is the ring still here? No. Oh, crap. I sold it this morning. I'm sorry, but I got a really good offer. How can I get my hands on that ring? You can't. How are you gonna buy it if the ring's not here anymore? So that's how you do business? Yesterday you were totally hung up on that ring and today you sell it to the first guy that walks through the door? I'm disappointed in you. Listen, I'm only gonna say this one more time. Yesterday, the store was closed, okay? So enough about that. Besides, don't you think it's odd that you're complaining that I sold a ring when that's what I do for a living? 
And didn't you say that you're the one who sold the aforementioned ring in the first place? Kind of. Well, then cut it out already. <coughs> Can you at least tell me who bought it? Negative. Company policy. Company? This place looks like an old storage unit. And I saw your license expired in 1968. I bet you weren't even born then. Hey, how would you feel if I went to your house and told you it was a pigsty? Which I'm sure it is. But that's not the point. The point is that you should show more respect. I cannot divulge that kind of information. Store policy. End of story. Well then, that's it for me. Oh, come on! This is a matter of life and death! I'm really sorry, but there's nothing I can do. A human life is at stake. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Human life is overrated. If it was an exotic animal's life, maybe I'd give it a thought. Okay, pick an animal and I'll make up a story. I'm sorry, buddy, but my store policy overrides any kind of life, even that of an exotic animal. Fine. Listen, kid. I keep record of all the transactions here in this notebook. I'd love to be able to tell everybody who bought what, but that's got me into trouble before. I get a lot of women who want their wedding dresses back, nerds trying to rescue their comic book collection, even cops who are looking for evidence or weapons that were used to commit crimes. So I'm sure you'll understand that I just can't give out that information. Okay, I'll find a way. So, dice or no dice? It's always dice. Who do you think you're talking to? Are you sure that will solve the problem? I guarantee you. I think there's something in there. Let's see what's behind mystery box number three. Ow! Oh, a gross rotten lemon. Just great. search the place already. You won't find any clues in there. What makes you think that's the reason I'm here? I was just gonna steal something. Steal something? I thought he was your best friend. Well, I don't think he'll mind, given the circumstances. You're disgusting. Yeah, I get that a lot lately. Just a cupboard, nothing weird about it.
snipe on. See you next time. I think we all are in our own way, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, no, no, I just now hit the, the unmute, but I was talking about the broken portion of the conversation. Hey, what's up, Father? No, not at all. Man, I really can't believe you're still alive. How did you manage to escape after the Russians set you up during that pool tournament? Actually, unless I, th I think unless I'm streaming with the desktop Come on, audio, Father, you shouldn't be ashamed of your you amazing achievements. Anyway, you remember so. when you beat that eight ball guy? You were handcuffed and yet you still won. You totally wiped the floor with that cocky bastard. Well, I mean, if I'm wrong, it We've been through a lot together, huh? Hey, remember that game we played against Lincoln's Ghost? Or that time we went to Japan and we beat those Yakuza's on their own table? Are you gonna say anything? Not a single thing, huh? tables are not what they used to be, huh? The quality of the bays is just terrible. Oh, and the wood? Don't get me started on the wood. What is it, cheap maple wood? Psh, pathetic. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Yeah. Someday I'll find out what color your eyes are, Father. Blue? They're blue, right? If they're blue, just wait. Wait, no, that, that, that makes no sense. Okay, so you don't want to talk about your eyes, I get it. But I know they're blue. Does your silence have any kind of logical basis, or are you just ignoring me? Wait a second, I know what's going on here. Now I remember it. it happened in San Francisco at that state tournament. Eight Ball's stepson was there and wanted his revenge, so he challenged you. Then you beat him with only three shots using a mop instead of a cue. That was so cool. Anyway, what I wanted to say is that you celebrated that victory with a decorized Royal Mai Tai iced tea, and if I remember, it left you speechless. That's it, right? But until today, really? I see. Would you like one? You know, a daiquirized Royal Mai Tai iced tea. That's a yes, right? <laughs> you old rascal. Okay then, I'll get you one as soon as I can. You stay right here.
Sorry about that, guys. Kids, I mean, you know, they don't want to listen. Driving my wife crazy. Like everything, man. Business, Elaine. Nah, it's okay. Nothing much to do right now. Yeah, I'd say nothing. Hey, uh, well, um, maybe if Greg, you, you hear that chloroform you're always talking about. addicted chimp yesterday, I'd have some customers. It spent all I'd, night I'd throwing feces all over the place, so and a lot of my regulars swore they'd never come back. A chimp addicted to nicotine? Well, whatever. People stop coming here because of some stupid reason like that. It just means they're not real loyal customers like um, me. Maybe that not mind. that extreme. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that'll teach her to listen next time. Hey man, when I drink, when I when I drink too fucking much or drink the wrong thing that I'm not supposed to be drinking and wake up with that monster headache that makes me swear off drinking until next weekend, I really wish that I would have listened. So hey, maybe it'll have the same effect. Hey, there's something different about you. Do you have more teeth than usual? Oh, you noticed? Well, yes. I feel great this morning. I feel really good about myself. I mean, I don't know why, but I feel pretty. I feel like I can take over the world. Well, that's a bit over the top. Oh. I know that, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for uh, reminding me of all that good shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on the registration list for that right now. I'm sorry, but, uh, I missed whatever someone else said. I, I'm trying to tell who was talking, sorry. Uh, he's from Michigan, I'm from Baltimore. Can I have a daiquirized Royal Mai Tai iced tea, please? Randall, didn't we agree that I wouldn't be selling you or Matt any more alcohol on weekdays? I am a Seriously? Streamer and, and we I actually agreed to that? You didn't, but I don't care. I told you. I'm done cleaning up after you guys, and I think the only way to do that is to cut you off. At least during the week. Uh, how can you be so selfish, Elaine? It's not for me, it's for Father Roy. Old geezer's throat is a little dry after all that talking. <laughs> You're so funny, Randall. Yeah, I get that a lot. My boss, my landlord, the cops, everybody loves me. Here's your cocktail, and tell Father Roy to stop jabbering away like that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, huh? I think you might be talking about Otis, the one that played Fortnite with us, the one from Wales.
Okay, Father, here's a genuine decorized Royal Mai Tai iced tea. Don't get it stuck in your mustache. Hey, what was that for? I'm not buying you any more drinks. Hey, hold on. I know what the problem is, you old scoundrel. Wasn't strong enough, huh? I should have known. Father Roy only likes the strong stuff. Okay, I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. I, I find it best to stay out of other people's affairs. Wow, that one took some real brain power. now. I'm not gonna take it. I think it needs some lemon. Rotten lemon, of course. I totally stream that shit. What's all this you guys shit? Did, Dread, do you have a rat that I'm not familiar with in your pocket or some shit that, you know, I can't put him on the books or nothing. <laughs> I ain't, okay, I ain't singing shit, man. I never signed up for none of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I signed up for that one. Just to get that fruity flavor. Only if they're only only if they're tasteful, man. Because uh, I can't be watching that shit. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you might get dread on that shit, but I'm happily married. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What'd you say? In my eyes, she is. I don't know how you would feel. piece of sharp rusty metal never hurt anyone's throat. This is almost ready. Proven that manganese dioxide gives a drink a spicy flavor. I can't think of anything else to throw in. Drink it carefully. Okay, that's the one he likes. Oh my god, if I had to put a rotten lemon, razor blade, batteries, and rat poison into somebody's drink just so they drink it, I'd like, dude, here's a gun. Hey, it's cheaper, and you don't have to do it through all that. <laughs> God 
because these goddamn chapters are long. The dialogue is fucking ridiculous too, man. But that's the longest part. What all we have left in Discord now? Not just me and you, but alright, I'll open up the uh, desktop audio. I mean, if you're going to be hanging with me for a little bit. Oh, I was going to say, man, I'll, I'll open up the des desktop audio if you're going to be hanging with me for a little bit. Time too, dice or no dice? It's I want always dice. Who do you think you're talking um, to? Get through this chapter of Hospice. I didn't get to see time once earlier because I was out with my buddy. Are you sure that will solve the problem? I guarantee you will be 100% satisfied with the like results. It's just. 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 Alright, uh, I think we're going back to Fortnite Bumper tomorrow. It's always nice. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm uh, actually going to do that. I'll probably want to do that around, like, Are you sure that was such a problem? Hold on, we can always preach you. You'll be 100% satisfied with the results. But I have a solution because I know that um I hope it's as soft as you say. Like I know that you have the computer ability. I love that sound. So, dice or no dice? It's always dice. Who do you think you're talking to? Are you sure that will solve the problem? 100% satisfied with the results. Epic, epic games. Oh, it's as soft as you say. Like a. <laughs> so, dice or no dice? It's always dice. Features Jay and Silent Bob, that's the whole reason why I'm even playing it. Up on the roof, what do I need to do? Get up to the roof, add some red poison to the popcorn, and feed it to the pigeons. Take the beer bowl. Oh no. Return. One shot. Alright. Let's do as the. Hey, this popcorn is a deadly weapon now. Eat, little ones, eat. There's enough for all of you.
Now we got orange. Ugh. Now they're asking us to do a bunch of shit again. So we're going to mills. So there's a few things that we need. We're gonna take our bottle of water, put it on top of that burner that we know this go. So, dice and no dice. It's always dice. Who do you think you're talking to? Are you sure that will solve the problem? I guarantee you will be 100 percent satisfied with the results. I can't see It's as soft as you say. Why can't you And then we're gonna go back in here and take our little hands off. I think the fact is easy. So, dice or no dice? It's always dice. Who do you think you're talking to? Take the hands. Young John. It's a poisonous monkey. Are you sure that will solve the problem? I guarantee you'll be 100% satisfied with the results. Correct, that clock should be a potential weapon of destruction. Do we want to go back into our inventory? I hope it's as soft as you say. Like a baby. Some place in the world. Yeah, that's a Babies! What the hell happened? I, I don't know, I was just walking my dog. I have to do something before they get all warm. Why? What happens if they get warm? Have you ever heard about a little thing called Super Volcano? Well, I know about Vesuvius Matt. Is it anything like that? Get out of my way. I gotta pick them up before the whole freaking block blows up. And that'll allow us to look into the... like a sales register. Okay, let's see who bought that stupid ring and wait a second. Charlie? Charlie bought my ring? Damn it! There's one person who could screw up my day like this, it's him. Oh, Is it still installed or anything? Look at how mine set up and walk you through it, but I guess we'll get the guys in the room, but he's now ready in the stream. Alright, Jared, man, we'll catch up tomorrow and do some Fortnite fuckery. Alright, I guess I'm still. No problem, buddy. Alright, so now we're gonna go to Charlie's Comics and get him. Alright, man. 
much done with day number two, guys. Welcome to my sanctuary, Sir Randall Hicks, where deboned meat and jars of mead flow like a spring of lust. Would you like to be frisked now or when you leave the store? Ah, uh, cut the medieval crap, Charlie. Charlie, over and out. So, what's up? You know that topless zombie special won't be out till Friday, my perverted friend. No, that's not the reason I came here. Anything new in the dungeon? Oh, you are never gonna believe what happened the other day. You're gonna freak out, buddy. Well, I'm not your buddy, but whatever. Tell me. Well, I was just here minding my own business when a guy came in. He was a decrepit old guy with glasses. But when I looked closer, I saw that he looked just like Stan Lee. Stan Lee was here? No, it turns out he was just some random old guy who was looking for the closest subway station. Huh. Did you get him to sign anything? Of course! Wow, working here must be like Christmas, huh? I can't complain. At least Sci-Fi Con is this Wednesday. Are you coming? I'll have my own stand. No, thanks. I hate those places. Those never-ending lines. Why go there when you can get all the same info on the internet? Besides, that place stinks of nerds and stale Cheetos. So, what can you tell me about that nerd convention? Hey, it's a sci-fi convention, okay? There'll be lots of hot girls wearing sexy costumes. Well, that depends on what your idea of sexy is. If there's any girls in there, which I'm not sure there will be, I don't think any of them are going to live up to your expectations. What's your point? My point is, if there's a girl dressed as Felicia, she'll probably turn out to look more like Doryman, don't you think? That is a horrible thing to say. The truth hurts, my friend. The truth hurts. Are you planning on wearing a costume? Well, not exactly. Oh, I get it. What better costume than a comic book store guy, huh? Brilliant, Charlie. Really sharp. Actually, I've been working on something for a while. I got the idea <laughs> from a DIY video on the internet. So, after a few weeks of hard work and several visits to the emergency room, I can proudly announce that I have the best costume ever, and I believe no one will disagree. Okay, so now you got my attention. What costume is that? A comic store guy costume. Are you kidding me? A comic store guy costume with claws. Wow! Pretty cool, huh? I agree, no one will disagree. They look really sharp. Hey, I could carve up a pig in five seconds with these babies. I almost had to use them last night in a public restroom. Be careful, Charlie. Comics and sharp weapons are the first step to ending up on the news. What kind of special collector's items will you be having in there this year? Oh, there'll be lots of different things. And some signed stuff, too. Signed by who? That decrepit old guy you told me about before? Exclusively. Is that all? Don't you have anything out of the ordinary? Something, you know, flashy or paranormal? Well, now that you mention it, yes, there, there is something. But it's top secret. You'll just have to wait and see. Oh, come on, Charlie. You know being patient is not my thing. That's not my problem. Dude, we've known each other since college. Don't you remember? Come on. Do it for old time's sake. Oh, since college, huh? Yeah. Those were the days, right? Yeah. I remember you guys never wanted me to go with you. I remember you throwing rocks at me every time I came close. And I remember you told me that a psychic said I would die in less than a year. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one, huh? A good one? 
I was totally terrified for a whole year, thinking that I could die any second. Do you have any idea of the hell I went through? <laughs> How funny. Yeah, and that time when you decided to, to recreate the movie Carrie with me as the star, and you didn't have any blood, so you threw a bucket of rotten fish heads over me? <laughs> oh, those were the days. I'm allergic to fish. I was in hospital for a week thanks to you. I almost died, remember? Oh, that's right. You're allergic to fish. I remember now. You turned all blue and your body got so swollen I thought you were going to burst like a balloon. Oh, boy, I miss those days. I don't. I'm looking for a ring. Any ring in particular? Tell me the name of the show, movie, or comic book. Guaranteed I'll have it. Nah, I'm not talking about that kind of a ring. I'm talking about a ring bathed in a mysterious aura of spirituality <coughs> that seduces you into stealing or suicide. You know what I mean, don't you? It doesn't ring a bell, no. Really? What about the one on your necklace? This? Oh, this is just a cheap family heirloom. Nothing important. Oh, Charlie, you suck at lying. I know how you bought it this morning at Mel's shop. I saw your name on the register. Come on, how much? Let's get this straight now, shall we? The ring you're talking about is mine now. I got it fair and square, and I'm sure you already know it's worth a fortune. A fortune only comparable with the mystical power that flows from it. So for all those reasons, the ring is not for sale. Oh, come on, Charlie. I'm sure we could come to some kind of an arrangement. I have money. I have a lot of money. Well, if you want it so badly, come to Sci-Fi Con on Wednesday, Dr. Fred Edison Street, and get your pockets ready, because it won't be cheap. Uh, you know, um, Wednesday's not really good for me. What can I do to change your mind? Nothing. Well, at least I tried. I kind of have a problem. Oh, let me guess. And that problem's name is, uh, Matthew Griffin. Well, yeah, kind of. And how come your loyal minion is not here with you? Did you have a fight over the last slice of pizza again? Not quite. This is something way more serious, but I'm not sure I want to talk about it with you. I see. So it was about super hot chick. No. Don't worry, dude. I'm with you. Being so damn hot has to be some kind of mutant. There isn't any other explanation. No, it's nothing like that, Charlie. Say no more. Matt is at it again. As the dungeon master, I warned him that alcohol and dice don't mix. Now he could be anywhere, thinking he's a level 26 warrior female elf. The consequences could be catastrophic, because we know that elf doesn't beat around the bush. No, Charlie, that's not it. But Matt is in some serious trouble. Did you guys break the rules of the dungeon again? Hmm, no, uh, how can I put this? Look, right now, Matt is just a mass of blood and minced flesh. Are you serious? I'm afraid I am. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, the ones I love will always be the ones who pay. Aw, oh, cut the crap, Peter Parker. Jeez. Look, Charlie, I'm not very fond of you. Not at all. In fact, I sometimes dream of your funeral, but let's not get bogged down with details. The thing is that even though I don't like you at all, I believe you're the only one I can talk to about this. Well, come on! Shoot! I'm not sure, but I think I've altered the space-time continuum. Oh, no! I knew this day would come! I knew it! You all said I was crazy when I spent all my savings on that DeLorean! <laughs> Who's laughing now, Skynet? Huh? Who's laughing now? <laughs> Dude, come on, Charlie. Ease up. You spent a fortune on a 110 scale replica. Even if it worked, we'd have to trust the future to mankind to your stupid hamster. You know, Randall, you're a very negative guy. I'm not surprised you opened an interdimensional breach that's going to destroy the whole universe with that attitude. Oh, yeah? Well, now I'm feeling the urge to destroy a comic book store. You know what I mean? Improbable. I have a full-size Captain Red cut out right here. He would never stand for that. Come on, dude. This is serious. I'm trapped in time. Holy Tannhauser Gate. Say no more. I'll get Bill Murray's number. Hold it, Charlie. Bill can't help this time. Why not? He's been through something very similar. I think we should at least check IMDb. 
Uh, shut up and listen carefully. And that's how you make a homemade anti-gravity system using a cat with a piece of buttered toast attached to its back. Very interesting, but do you think it would be possible to do it without the toast? I mean, what if we just smear some butter on the cat's back? Maybe, but I don't think it would work the same without any wheat. So, uh, let's go back to my problem. Any ideas? Uh, just one. Have you considered therapy? There's a great psychiatrist right down the street. A psychiatrist? Oh, come on. I'm serious. Randall, your story fascinates me, but something similar happened to me. And I've learned that the best thing you can do is go to a shrink. A bunch of pills will make you feel better. Ooh, three pills doesn't sound that bad. Maybe I will pay him a visit. It'll be good for you, trust me. Dr. Johnson is a real expert in his field. I'm supposed to be able to put my leftover sandwich. Some security system. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's a super hot check catalog, just like the one old Phil used to have. Take a look at Fuck! This is some security system.
Ah, uh, I better not do that. This thing has already stole my childhood and half my adolescence. I'm not gonna take that. Doing so, I am going to pause and use the restroom. And we're back to try to wrap up the day. Alcohol fixed it. This thing won't ever cease to amaze me. Next we want to go and sit in. Okay. It's a publicity poster for the sci-fi con on Wednesday. Let's hope 
this works. Very good. Camera on the spring, I can find this spring and press the bar to the cockpit. Nice. Its shape is pretty different now. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a HAL computer of the Matic 9000 series. Open the case, HAL. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Dave? What the hell is it talking about? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, HAL? I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Ugh. The only Frank I know is Sinatra, okay? Now, come on, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the case. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Mr. Charles Goodman's DNA sample and fingerprint are required. Charles Goodman? I believe you know him by the name Charlie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the owner of this hole. Correct, Dave. Why does everybody keep changing my name? To Randall Hicks. What's up, my friend? Are you confused? Baffled by the situation, maybe? That's only normal. This is totally new for you. Is this a dream? Or maybe now you see the world exactly as it is. Asking yourself those questions won't help, but I will. I can be a valuable ally, my friend. But remember, you must do everything I tell you to. Consider me as some kind of oracle. Where to find me? You know where. People like me only work in the darkest and loneliest of places. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, your true ally. Oh boy. Get deeper. Now we gotta go and do a few more things to hunt. We should have that note there. We need to take a look at it. To Randall Hicks! What's up, my friend? Uh, Are you confused?
Don't you have any alcohol-free drinks? Oh, sure. I just got a shipment of the highest quality alcohol-free fruit liqueurs. Fruit liqueurs? Want to try some? They're delicious. Sober Randall agrees reluctantly. And consider yourself lucky. If drunk evil Randall was here, he would have spit that liqueur in your face. Oh, Randall. You and your ways. Do you want to try them or not? Okay. Let's see what a non-alcoholic beverage tastes like. Okay, let's try that papaya liqueur. <clears throat> Feels weird drinking something that doesn't burn your throat. Mango liqueur? Hmm, I'm curious. Eh, I thought it'd be sweeter. Hmm, what about that lime one? <coughs> Drinking lime juice. Lava? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it tastes like either. Gotta be good with a name like that. But it's not. <laughs> Passion fruit liqueur? That's a thing? It is, and it sucks. I hate kiwis. Eh, what the hell. Okay, now I hate kiwi liqueur too. Hmm, macadamia nut liqueur. Why not? I don't know what this is, but it's delicious. Elaine, Guarana liqueur. Quick, quick! Lychee liqueur, huh? Okay, bring it on. Mmm, tasty and exotic. A bit like June. I can't believe what I'm about to say. I'd like to try that sugar apple liqueur. Hey, it's not that bad. The name is a little misleading. Lane, let me try that coconut liqueur. Well, I think all of them are delicious. By the way, that'll be $380. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, great. Now I have to redo my makeup. You use makeup? Why did you say something like that? Why would you charge me almost 400 bucks all of a sudden? Well, I never said they were free. I just asked if you wanted to try them. Really? Look, Randall, you know I care about you a lot. But I can't just let you walk out the door without paying. Those bottles are really expensive. I can't lose any more money because of you. You're just lucky I'm feeling kind of guilty for spitting in your face. And you're also lucky that I now have more money than Richie Rich. Here. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to redo my face. You know... You might want to invest in some permanent markers, because you're not so bad looking when your face isn't messing it up. Randall, sometimes you can be so cruel. Not just sometimes, almost always. Right? I didn't wash my hands, so what? Elaine, don't do that. You don't need makeup. See? 
You can be really nice sometimes. Yeah, that's not really what I meant. See, I meant... Nah, never mind. Elaine, the bathroom looks just like Burano Island. You know, water and colors everywhere. Oh, come on. Is it really that hard to aim? You're sober now. Hate the game, not the player. I don't think I got that. Anyway, can't you tell I'm busy? There's a huge mirror in the men's room, if I remember correctly. So? Well, it's just that I thought it'd be easier if you used a bigger mirror. I'm not sure that small one is serving you all that well. Randall, I'm getting tired of your little jokes. Fine, fine. All I'm saying is the restroom is a total mess, and it certainly doesn't make this place look very good. Especially if the owners are just lazing around the bar putting her makeup on. Fine, fine, fine. I'll clean the damn restroom, but then you gotta do me a favor. Me? A favor? Come on, Randall. I'm only asking you to take out the trash from last night, after all. Most of it belongs to you and that nicotine chimp. All right. But I'm only doing it because you let me pee on the men's room floor. I've never let you do that. You want to bet? Go check it out. Oh, God. Here's the trash. All you have to do is take it out to the back alley. Roger. on the street for me? Maybe. So, I understand you'd like to be kind of my Alfred. What? Do I look like a damn butler to you? Oh, good, 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 because honestly, I wasn't very excited about it. Listen, we have more serious things to discuss. If that means two hours of lame TV sayings, I might as well just leave now. Increasingly, modern science pursues powers traditionally reserved for the Almighty. But those who encroach upon the province of the gods realize too late that the price for entrance is destruction. And we're done for today. See ya. Hey, wait! Don't be foolish. I'm just trying to help you. Okay, you obviously know how to control the powers of that ring. All right, I get it. But why do you never just say so? All you do is ramble on and on and it never goes anywhere. And then I end up losing my job, and my best friend dies horribly. So enough already. I'm done with this shit. Okay, I'll try to be more clear. But for the record, I just do what any oracle does. I hint about stuff, but never actually say it. Ah, dude, I'll never see you as an oracle, okay? For me, you'll always be that drunken bum who yells stuff in the alley. How do you expect me to call you the oracle and not crack up? Okay. Fine. Now, listen. You seem kinda lost. Yeah, well, I've got no clue how to get that ring back now. Enter the bum. Are you just gonna, uh, pull it out of somewhere? Because if you are, I, I don't wanna watch that. An oracle just says stuff, never does stuff. Phew, that's probably for the best. Anyway, what you're seeking is out of your reach right now. Great. Thanks for your help. See ya. Oh, hell, boy, just wait a goddamn second. Finding that ring now is like a utopia for you, but that doesn't mean you'll never be able to get it back. Okay, that sounds kinda good. I just hope you're not trying to seduce me or anything. Oh, for the love of God, I'm just trying to help you, but I'm starting to get tired of trying, you know? I'm sorry. Go on. Okay. I don't know if you know already. But that ring is going to be exhibited next Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It's a pity my current situation won't allow me to make it to Wednesday. Can't even make it to Tuesday. But I'm sure that at this juncture you are aware that you can alter the future. Or even better, tomorrow's present. Understand? 
I was never a very good student, but I think I get it. You're implying I should do something so the ring would be exhibited tomorrow instead of Wednesday. That way I'll be able to get it back tomorrow, is that it? See? It's not that hard when you pay attention, right? Okay, so what can I do to accomplish such a heroic quest? Sometimes the most simple and insignificant thing can help you rewrite the near future. Ah, uh, more rambling. Here we go. I've said enough already. You need to rewrite the near future. I'm not your walking walkthrough, okay? Just work with me a little here. I'll give it some thought, although I barely remember any of it. That's not working with me. Goodbye, kid. Goodbye, bum. I think I'll miss you most of all. Go back in, you bastard. It's a urinal, but it looks like people here prefer to use the floor. I don't feel like it right now. Go ahead and... Oh wow, it worked! Now I have Charlie's fingerprint. Mr. Charles Goodman's fingerprint verified. Mr. Charles Goodman's DNA sample verified. Welcome, Mr. Goodman. It 
Burns. Why'd you do that, Hal? I did everything you asked me to do. I'm sorry, Dave, but I cannot let you leave with that. I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow. I need that damn catalog, okay? What the hell am I supposed to do now? Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. I'll just get some sleep and see what new quest awaits me tomorrow. Man, I hope I don't wake up tomorrow in the Middle Ages or something. Okay, I have another long day ahead of me. I think I should go pay old Emerson a visit. I have something that might interest him. And about this point, okay. Better pretty good save. I'm going to end up bringing this into day number three. And with that, I am going to remind everybody watching on Twitch to go ahead and catch our replay on YouTube after it is posted. And while you are over there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Click or ding on so that way you don't miss out on more kicky ass content from me and Games Purgatory. Check the links in the description below for our Twitch, Discord, and our Facebook. And I will catch you day three. Shit, what up? What? 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 What?